Hello there folks. This quick video today is going to try out something new in the banner multi-hop radios that has a counter function on the discrete input. So here I've got a multi-hop radio right here. Uh, it's currently set up as master mode, but that doesn't matter. Um, and what I've got on this particular multi-hop is I've got a input. This yellow wire right here is wired to discrete input number one on the multi-hop radio right here. And then I have that yellow wire connected over here to discrete output number nine on this particular uh, gateway I'm using here. I'm just using this guy here as a output source. So I'm going to fire this output, which is going to be wired to an input on this multi-hop. And then I'm intending to look at a register in here to see the current count. So what I'm also doing then is I've got my Modbus 45 comms coming out of here, which is the green cable, looks like Ethernet. goes back into here and it goes into a 45 port on my Redline HMI right here, which you can see the LEDs blinking right there. And here's my uh, program. So what I've got set up, I've got, currently I've got this thing set up so I can do a flash output. I can turn on the output signal once a second, two times a second, four times a second, five or ten times a second. And depends on the flashing sequence within the HMI. I don't know how exactly accurate it is, but we're going to try it out. So if I set it up in the one mode right here, this is the counter value that's coming out of the multi-hop radio. This particular radio right here, it's coming out of a register that's in there, and then I'm also I'm doing at the same time a time in seconds right here, and then I've got a reset counter. So if I go ahead and turn this on right now, it should be turning on the output once a second, and you can see that it's corresponding with the time in seconds. I have a little timer going on in here, keeping track. So after 10 seconds, you can see it's at whatever. I'll try to stop it at 20 and see if it's right on. Let's see here. There's 20. Yeah, I must have missed it. But uh, though the count's not on, I don't know exactly if I hit this correctly at 20 seconds, but the count is pretty darn accurate. If I go ahead and clear the registers, I'll clear it here again. So uh, clear my counters. There they are cleared. Let's say I want to go ahead and set it up five times a second. So I'll hit the five, set the rate at five. Let's go ahead and turn it on and see what happens this time. So if I let it go, say, 10 seconds this time, we should be pretty close to 50, I hope, anyway. There we go. Once again, uh, you can see the latency right here. You can see this guy keeps going on. That's because I'm doing 45 comms out here, and there's probably, it's not exactly accurate, but it's pretty darn close. Let me go ahead and clear that again. And let's tie this time. Let's try 10 times a second. And let's do 10 seconds this time. So here we go. Let's watch what happens this time. So after 10 seconds goes by, I'll hit the off here again. Boom. And there you go. Look at that. That's pretty sweet, folks. Pretty cool. So anyway, I'm just using a register on a multi-hop. You can use, you can set it up to be a counter, and that's what I'm doing this application. So for a PTV application that wants to do counting out in the field, by all means, please use the uh, banner multi-hop radios wired discrete input into it, set it in counter mode, and it works pretty good. Anyway, if you got any questions, please let us know. Thanks a lot. Have a great day, folks.